Using a password manager can drastically improve your cyber security. But I often hear a lot of negative talk about using password managers. So in this video, we're gonna look at the pros and the cons of using a password manager. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards. I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. We help our clients with their IT support and the cyber security. In this video, we're going to be looking at the pros and the cons of using a password manager. But before we go into those, it might be best for me to summarise the password problem that we all face and what a password manager has been designed to do. Now, I'm sure you'll agree with me, we've all got lots of passwords to remember. If we think about all the cloud applications that we use, both at home and in business, it could be well over 100 passwords that we've got to remember. So, what do we do? Well, us humans, we try to make things a little bit easier for ourselves. So, we choose the same password for each application. That means we've only got one password to remember. Perhaps we put a variation on that, maybe a, an exclamation mark at the end or something like that, but we'll use the same password. To make matters worse, we'll also use something that is easy for us to remember. We can't really remember complex things, so we'll choose something that we can remember just like that. So there's the password problem. We've got easy to remember passwords and we'll use the same password for everything. It's really convenient for us, but it's not very cyber secure. So what is the solution to the big password problem? Well, what I always recommend to my customers is that they use a password manager. So what is a password manager? Well, a password manager is a cloud-based tool that stores all of our passwords. We simply put all of our usernames and passwords into the password manager, and that becomes our kind of password brain. In addition to that, a lot of password managers will help you create secure and strong passwords for each of your cloud applications. So when you use a password manager, what you end up with is strong and unique passwords for each of your applications. Surely that's the end of the password problem. Well, no, it isn't, because there's still a lot of negative talk about password managers on the internet. And so in this video, I was gonna look at the pros and the cons of using a password manager. So let's get cracking. So let's start with the pros, the advantages of using a password manager. Now the first advantage is one we've touched on already. It will mean that each of your cloud applications has a unique and strong password to log into. That is a massive advantage and it is a much improvement over most people who are using the same passwords for each cloud application. So the first advantage is it will increase your cyber security. The second advantage of using a password manager is the mobility. A good password manager will be available on each of your devices. It will have an application for your Windows computer, your Apple Mac, and your smartphone like an iPhone. This means that wherever you are, your password manager is also likely to be with you. Compare that to how some people store the passwords. Some people actually use a notebook, a physical notebook, where they write everything in there. Now, this is kind of secure because they can create unique passwords, but it's not very mobile. They might be in one location and the notebook might be in another, and that means they won't be able to use the cloud application. With a password manager, mobility is the key. You can take it anywhere you want. The third advantage of using a password manager is its ability to auto log into your applications. Let's look at an example. You sat on your Windows laptop and you've got the password manager software installed. You then browse the LinkedIn login page. The password manager will know that you're on the LinkedIn login page and it'll pop up and offer to put the password into the password box for you. This means you're logging onto applications very quickly and very efficiently without actually entering a password. The password manager is logging on for you. This is brilliant. The fourth advantage of using a password manager is its ability to share passwords with other people without them knowing what the password is. So let's look at a couple of scenarios where this could be helpful. In my business, I often use virtual assistants and I can share my passwords with them through the password manager. They can then auto log in with those passwords, but they don't know what the password is. Say for example, one day I decide to stop working with one of the virtual assistants. 
Rather than go around all my applications and have to reset all the passwords, I can simply just disable her password manager account. Really easy. In my home life, there's also another example. In our household, we've got access to an online shopping account. So what I can do is create a nice secure password for the shopping account and put it in the password manager. I can then share that account with my wife so she can use it as well. She doesn't know the password, but we've got a really strong and secure password for our household online shopping account. So the ability to share passwords is really, really good. So now let's look at the cons, the disadvantages of using a password manager. Firstly, how do you access your password manager? Well, you access your password manager by using a password. This is often called a master password. You enter a master password into your password manager to get access to the rest of your passwords. Now, a lot of people are concerned that if this master password gets hacked or someone knows it, they can get in and access all of your passwords. Now, technically, this is of course true, but this can be mitigated by simply putting two-factor authentication onto your password manager. That means if someone gets access to your master password, they still can't log in because they've not got the second level of authentication. Another disadvantage of using a password manager is the security of the password manager itself. Surely a password manager's cloud servers would be a target for cyber criminals. Just as recently as December 2021, there was a password manager called LastPass which had a bit of a scare. People were worried that their servers had been compromised. Now, LastPass insisted that nothing was compromised and no user details were stolen, but it did come as a bit of a scare and it reminded people that your security is only as strong as the password manager itself. Now, this disadvantage again can be got around by doing two things. First, choose a really good password manager, one that focuses on security, encryption and zero knowledge. And second, don't use a two-factor authentication tool that is inbuilt within the password managers. Use a separate one. I recommend Authy. That means you've got your passwords in one place and your two-factor authentication in another. Nice and secure. So there you have it, the pros and cons of using a password manager. Am I still here saying that a password manager is, is faultless? No, I'm not, because technology isn't perfect. But when we're looking at the advantages of using a password manager, don't look at the disadvantages of using a password manager. Instead, look at how you are storing passwords today. And a password manager will give you definite advantage and more security. I look forward to seeing you again soon.